Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. All of our colonists are heading off to bed, except for our guards. So we've been trying to increase the size of our colony by recruiting more people. We have recruited quite a few more colonists to do jobs, a lot of farming jobs. We added another crafting station just for basic goods because we saw we were running low on firewood. We're up to two wheat fields now, so hopefully that keeps the food production going. And then I can see here we've got our newest uh, food production here, which is the chicken farm. Looks like they've got one more little chicken house. To <laughs> one more little chicken house to place down, I believe. And then now uh, we'll get feathers. We'll get chicken from this, but we'll also get feathers. And the feathers are going to be important for our archers and our archery defense. Now, we don't have those yet. Let's take a look at the tech tree, see where we're at. We unlocked, let's see, for archers, bronze arrows, and bow spring and bow strings. Let's see what we've got. Do we have bow strings yet? I don't see them. Let's see what they take. They may take the beeswax. I think that might be why we need the bees. Let's take a look. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Wait a minute. How come I'm not getting what I'm looking for here? Let's see. Where is the bowspring? <laughs> the bowstring. I keep saying bowspring. Uh, I think it is. Where is that? Did we do? Yeah, we've got this researched. Yeah, the, the bowstring requires of two flax and beeswax. So that's the other piece that we need for the archery, I believe. And we need to research this as well. So we can't make the three bowstrings until we have that kind of the beehive put down. Why don't we place that and see? Uh, let's do that right now, actually. We might be able to be, do it over here. We'll see how big it is. Food, is it in here? Beekeeper. Boom, how big can this thing go? 30 is too large. 24, 28. This is strange, isn't it? So it has to do with the, uh, the right proportion here, the right shape. So this looks like 28, looks good, but I think because the shape is four wide, yeah, we can get to 32, looks like the biggest. I think I'm going to pop it um, over here because we've got a bunch of stuff that's four wide over here. So let's just do that. 38, oh, what was it? 28, was that right? 32. 32, 32 it's going to be. Let's pop that guy down. And let's put a crate down in between these two guys. We could put a crate here too. Let's do it. Boom. <clears throat> let's see. Do we need to recruit for our colony? Or let's look at the, uh, do we have berry meal seven? We're one short. Of course. We've got 21 berries. Food's looking better. You can see that the cooked fish is starting to stack up. Bread meals are okay. We've even got a perpetual stew, and that gives us a lot of colony points. Bread, I guess they don't eat the bread directly. They have to make bread meals out of that. Let's see. Flour is not looking great for having two wheat fields. I thought we would have more flour by now. And that mill, here's our mill. They're not doing anything special, right? Oh, oh olive oil too, I see. Not a big deal. Here we go. Now I can see the crafting limits. Bow strings. Waiting on the beeswax. I'm going to crank this thing up to five. Bread and crate. 
Okay, so this would be making a crate of bread. I'm not sure what the crates are for, if that's for trading. I gotta think that's probably what it's for. You wanna trade your bread. All right, let's get that last berry meal here and recruit. Recruit to fill all jobs. It'd be cool if it told us how many jobs are un... Oh, it does tell us. Where is that? Uh, da, da, da. Manage jobs. We're missing our guards, right? We placed two guards last episode and we're missing the beekeeper, which we just placed. And that's about it. So that's not too bad. So we got three more people to hire, one of which is, or two of which are gonna be guards just to make sure we are, we're okay. We've got the overlapping shift right now. So we've got four guards out here and we are getting more zombies. It's not very bad yet. But at some point, it is going to get worse because we keep and we keep bringing in more more colonists, and the more colonists we have, the more that attracts the zombies. There's one right there, boom. And I do realize that having the hedge here like this um, kind of obstructs the, the the line of sight from our guards, so they have a little bit harder time shooting. Again, I'm kind of going for the aesthetic over the functionality, so may not be perfect. I'm sure there's better, more efficient ways to take out the zombies, but as long as we're doing it, as long as it's successful, this approach, I'm not too worried about having it be the perfectly optimal approach. Now that my views may change on that if we start getting overwhelmed and we're right now at just the, the tiny number of zombies stage of the game. There's not really many at all. Let's go ahead and recruit. We probably can uh, recruit to fill all jobs. I think once we get these additional two guards, it's only one daytime guard and one nighttime guard. That'll hold us off for a while. And then the new hires, we can focus on uh, doing kind of more construction, more building, more manufacturing stuff. I do want to get a digger going. That's going to allow us to hollow out the underground here and create more space. Not sure how we'll use the space down here, if we'll keep it for mining or if we'll actually move some kind of manufacturing down here. We'll just see. It's kind of planning on building up more than building down. But we'll see how we go as the colony grows. How are we doing on stone? 373. That's not a lot for having a dedicated person down there. Let's do a little more building here. Let's close this room off. We can finish this wall too. While we're waiting on food. So we can recruit more people. Some more of this. Tell you what, I'm going to let it fast forward. I'll fast forward in this section. I'm going to do some building. I'll use up a bunch of the stone that we've got, uh, and I'll just kind of fast forward through here. All right, here I go. That's enough of that. I'm going to pop some more of these bricks on my hot bar. So I've got them. How are we doing on berry meals? Nine. We can recruit some more. Let's do it. Colony. Recruit. 
We've got uh, three spare beds. Now, have we built some more beds? We have not. Let's go down to the uh, crafting station here and set a priority on that. Do we have beds in this list? Where are the beds? Yeah, we've got it set to five. So why don't we have any beds in inventory or do we? I don't see them offhand. Oh, are we fully recruited? Yeah, we are. Cool. We've got extra berry meals now. Where are the beds? What are we missing? We're probably missing something. No, it's letting me build them. Oh, no, not really. What else do we need? We need, okay, planks, straw, and copper nails. Ooh, copper nails aren't doing great, are they? We've got plenty of copper. Food, at least cooked fish is looking pretty good. Lobster, what's it take to cook the lobster? Does it take, oh, honey, right? Okay, we got some beeswax. We should be getting some honey and we should be able to cook these lobster up too. Fish, the raw fish looks like that supplies pretty good. Now all of, or here's, yeah, here's our honey. We got to eat honey. Firewood is slowly climbing. We need that for a lot of the food preparation. We've got extra workers. Let's go down. Oh, we got our guards now too, I think. Yeah. So here is what? Our night shift, I believe. Yeah, that's the night shift. And so we've got an extra slinger in there. Again, we want to get arrows and get an archer going. What we can do while it's nighttime here, because we've unlocked the digger, can I not put torches down here? Let's, uh, Put some torches down here. These are kind of temporary. So what I want to do, like way, let's see, this is another big room, right? Right. And I drilled this thing out all the way to the end of the safe zone. So that's why these bricks look red. If I go to the banner tool, we can see I'm at the end of the safe zone. Now, rather than digging out this next little section by hand, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a torch over here first because it's so dark. I'm going to try and dig. I am going to manually dig my way uh, to the edge of the safe zone. I guess I'll do maybe two at a time and just try and uh, be careful not to get too far. <laughs> or get into the uh, unsafe zone here because they the zombies will spawn. It is actually nighttime, but I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to use the digger. I think we can recruit another person. I also need to recharge my health now that we seem to have a small surplus of berry meals. All right, so let me just check the zone here in a second. Make sure we're not already into the unsafe zone. Doesn't look like it. I need a light though to tell for sure. Yeah, no, that's all still green. Let's go back two more. Still in the green. That's all good. We're going to dig all this out with an automated digger here soon. Just want to take this back and I'll sh you'll see why in a minute. I think that's it. Right? That is it. Um, why are you doing that? Okay. Here we go. So I'm right at the edge of the safe zone. That is safe and that next block is not. Let's go place our digger or yeah, construction digger area, dig out an area of the world, select the area to dig out. So I'm going to go ahead and click this right click up there and I'm going to walk. Ooh, might be a limit on the dig area. No, it looks like it's going to do it. Okay. Too large. Oh, bummer. We're so close. Uh, it will let me go this far. 
960. So if I go and confirm this, I'll just right click, boom. Now I pick where I want the worker to, to stand basically. So I'll, I think that's a right click too. Yep. And then we'll put a crate down so they can deposit the materials when they mine. And a worker will dig all of this out for us. We'll get the stone along with any of the ore that they happen to mine. So that is very, very cool. We can use the stone. We've got one person doing stone. That'll make it two. Let's go ahead and recruit for that position. We've got 10 berry meals. So we'll recruit to fill all jobs. We're gonna need more beds. And it occurs to me I got a little distracted because I don't remember what we're waiting on for beds. I'm gonna take two of these berry meals. and replenish my health before I forget. Okay, now I'm back up to 100. Up we go. Yeah, and let's see, what was the holdup with the beds? Now it's saying we have them. Do we have all five? No, we have two. Planks, straw, and copper. Oh, it was copper nails, right? I think it was copper nails. I think we did figure that out. Where, where are those made? This guy does the copper nails. Well, we've got two people working on this now. How are we doing? We've got 30 copper nails. I guess I can handcraft the beds. I might as well just do it myself. There's four, there's six. Let's get them placed. I think we'll do these kind of up here. Boom, boom. We'll see how they fit. Oh, that's not bad. It is, again, intentionally not compact. Just for looks, just for looks. I know there's a bunch of wasted space there, but we can build up, up, up if we want, and we can build underground as we want too. That's all that. Now I was thinking of putting a grocery store just outside of here. So as they walk out, they can uh, pick up their meal and not have to wait. We've got another room we're going to build here. I'm not going to do that right now on camera. Do we have someone for our beekeeper? Yep, we do. That's right. We saw that we were producing honey. How are we doing? Are we cooking lobster yet? Check it out. Cooked lobster. Look at this. 200 points per item. Now, we don't get many lobster as we're fishing, but they do seem to pop up every once in a while. We've got 18 ready to cook. Boy, 200 colony points per item. That's a big deal. Ooh, we're already at the max. Let's go. Let's do the colony point capacity. Or no, let's do the colony point efficiency. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that. We probably threw away some points we could have had. So maybe we'll get up to the 2800, try and keep a better eye on it, and then do the colony point capacity, and then we won't have to keep such a close eye on it. Okay, and then there's, here's an upgrade for the digger size. So we just specified an area. Let's see how we're doing with brick. Things look good. The wheat is a little, I'm a little concerned with the wheat. I thought we'd have more of that going. And even the firewood is not climbing like I thought it would. Let's see, how are we doing on wood? Yeah, we've got plenty of logs just from our own manual cutting those down. All right, up here, what do we want to do? I think this next room, why don't we make this a, like a crafting room and just experiment with how that's going to look. So we'll have a wall up here. I can do some of it right now, I suppose. And what, what I want along here is crafting stations. It might look cool to have them. How do we want to do this? Um, I'm just experimenting here. So maybe a crate. They seem to be able to walk through each other. Let's do another. Where is it? Workbench. Do 
we have one? We should have one in inventory, yeah. Let's kind of just grab that and place it. No. I gotta put it on my hotbar, apparently. It seems like there would be a way. Right click, primary click. Yeah, I don't see a way of doing it. There might be. Anyway, I'll throw it on the hotbar for now until I figure that out. So we could do something like this. Where this will be a crafting room and we can make this look pretty once we get more blocks to work with. We'll put in windows and all kinds of stuff, perhaps, perhaps. But the idea would be maybe there's a whole room here. And this whole room is just about crafting. So worker comes in, plops themselves here and just starts working on, on crafting stuff. And that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. In fact, why don't we rip up this crafting station and this one too. We're just going to go a little bit bold. And pop at least one more of them down. We can probably pop down two. And then crates behind, I believe, is all they need. We need torches. Do I have any of those in inventory I can swipe? I don't. I can build them. Why aren't they being built already? Let's see. Do we have torches in here? Twelve. Don't see them in inventory. So it could just be we don't have enough workers. So yeah, let's give these guys some light here. I guess we can go a little bit higher on that. In fact, let me do it there. It's a little bright. Probably get by with two lights in these rooms. Yeah, that's not bad. So we'll see. Is it nighttime? Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, everybody is snoozing away. This is a little... It's a little wider. There's a little more space in here than I kind of want, but it's not horrible. Like I said, I'm not too worried about this the space here. We'll rework this. So yeah, so then maybe this whole room ends up being these kind of stations. Right? So in fact, why don't we just to, since they're not working at these stations anyway, let me tear this up. And let's do a mirror image on this side. Got this already in the hot bar. So it would be like that, and that, and then our wall for this room would kind of be along here. That kind of thing. And maybe this whole room becomes just a crafting room. And that's all we do. And then we look and build another room over here. And have this be, I don't know, something different. Maybe the anvils or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. Peek over the edge here. See how our guards are doing. It looks good. How's our supply of ammunition? Looks great. I think our crafting stations are producing the ammo too, right? So that's, is that, is that right? Yeah, so that consumes some time as well. So this room, we'll just have a big row of them. And we'll have more rooms with crafting tables like this, most likely as we grow. And then this was going to be another barracks. Something like this, I suppose. How are we doing on berry meals? Oh, look at this. So we've turned the corner on the berry meals. That's good to see. How are we doing on science? Is there something we can pick to keep this train moving? Bronze arrows and bow springs. <laughs> bow springs. I don't know why I want to say springs. Bow strings. I think we can do this now, right? Do we have bow strings? We do. Let's research. 
archery. Boom. Get that going. And then a technologist is like what we're going to need for the more advanced science items. It's almost like a science pack in other games. But it looks like we're going to need a linen bag. Can we do linen from something that we've unlocked already? Not yet. What else we've got? Traders. Unlock trader NPCs, which accelerate trading to other colonies. That's an option. Mints and shops. It's not counterfeiting if the king says it's okay. I'm not sure what that's for. Two different kinds and then a minter and a merchant. Buying only, no selling. Okay, unlocks mints and shops and can be used to buy seeds, dirt, and other miscellaneous items. Okay, that takes the science bags. See this research? We're getting into the science bags. This one, yeah, there's different kinds of science bags too. Let's see, where is linen? Do we already have that? Right, that means linen and a linen bag. Did we already unlock that. These need science bags, so it can't be that. Max farming. Taylor turns flax into linen. Okay, that makes sense. Taylor shop and the tailor. So that's another building we want to build let's see why don't we put it over here for now maybe this will be the temporary area that we place workstations before we scale up let's see do can i build the tailor shop we don't have one in inventory that i see what do i need planks flax and copper tools Yes, I can build it. Let's pop it down here. Boom. And let's recruit a worker for that. I can only recruit three more colonists, so we're going to have to up the uh, colony size limit. We might just do that right now. We're at, we're at 3,000 again. What? thought we just upgraded this colony point capacity. Let's do it. And then we'll do um, the colonist capacity. All right, that gets us 4,500. Yeah, I guess maybe we didn't do that. <clears throat> Can't remember. Here we go. Just double check. These are the straggler zombies coming in here at the end of the end of the night. My aim is perfect. These are a little berry experiment. I'm going to let them go for a little bit longer and then we'll see if we actually get berries. It's not as urgent right now. We're doing pretty good. We've got a lot of berry farmers down. 20 berry meals. That all looks good. Flour is not where I want it. I think we may need another wheat field. And then let's go take a look, or let's take a look at our stone real quick. 881. You can see it's incrementing pretty fast. Let's take a look at our little digging experiment and see if there's been progress made. Okay, now where he's standing, it's like, oh, it doesn't look like much is getting done. But if we go back here, check it out. So he is automatically, and you can watch the blocks get removed. This is much better than us doing it, right? Just assign a worker and let them carve away. And again, we've got them hollowing this out all the way up to the edge of our current safe zone. And that's going to get expand too with research. And it's exposing some more, you know, ore deposits that we can mine. And there may be more advanced ore as we go deeper. I think there is. Uh, and we'll do the same thing as we go down a level too. In fact, I could probably put a light somewhere. Yeah, eventually we need to drill that out. 
before we do, let's take a look and see what else we want to do here in terms of tech. Clay. We need, we're going to need clay for bricks. And I think that is deeper. I don't see clay at this level. I don't see what I think is going to be clay. I have an idea of what it looks like and it's, I'm not seeing it here. How much time do we got? We're a little over. Let's dig a little bit. Let's dig a little bit. How far do we go down? Right? We want four ceilings, four high. So that's the ceiling one, two, we need at least two more levels. So yeah, we, there's no getting around some of this digging. I don't think because we wouldn't be able to mark this, uh, this area for digging by the digger. So we'll do a little bit by hand. Okay, I gotta go down one more, right? So that's the, this level right there is gonna be our ceiling. We need to go four down one, two, three, four. No, that's it, I think. I think this is us. Yeah, that's our floor. All right. So we can dig out a little bit of this. And what we can do is take this back. How do we want to do this? I think maybe here. Try and take this all the way back to the safe zone. Let's get a... Uh... Ooh, we haven't even taken this part back. One can go. Yeah, we're going to want to take this back. I might do a little bit of this between episodes. At least this initial tunneling out here. And then we'll set up another digger or another work site for the digger to, uh, to come do some digging. I think if we just place the work site, even without hiring another digger, I think when he finishes the job uh, that he's currently working on, I think that job site will disappear and he'll move over to the new job site. Still got a bit more here. It's more than halfway done. And again, we're getting minerals and stuff. Uh, we're getting the ore as he's removing these blocks. We're getting that automatically. So that's all very cool. Before we wrap up this episode, let's head up and just take a look and see if we've got people working those three crafting tables. Two, we're missing one more, right? Now that's an interesting choice of placement. I thought he would come back here. Hmm. Now there's no special way to place these, right? There's no direction on these, I don't think. Let's uh, hop it down on the hot bar. Yeah, there's no rotating where they work. Well, that's kind of a bummer, right? We don't want that. Let's pop a box. Or now he'll stand on a torch, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. He won't stand on a crate. Do I got to put a crate there? And, of course, it's the end of the ship, so we don't get to see it. Well... We might just have to put, oops, wrong key. We may just have to put these tables right next to each other like this and just have a row. We'll give it some thought and see what works. They can come back here and just work in a big long row. A little more compressed. That might be a good thing actually. Anyway, let's wrap this one here. For now, this is Glidercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy having you here on this journey of colony survival. I really, really like this game. We're just getting started. You can see the first little skeletal uh, castle structure we've got going. Planning to build us up quite a few floors higher. And then again, we're going to expand our safe zone. We may end up filling in some of the lake, unfortunately. We'll see. But uh, this area immediately next to the castle, I want to move our crops out here, at least the trees, right? Because they're kind of tall. We may still do some indoor farming. We could even do that underground at the lower levels. Um, put down some planters in order to uh, hold the soil that they need to grow. 
But yeah, we're off to a decent start. And in this episode, the other big thing we did, just as a recap, I think we kind of turned the corner on our food issue, right? The last few episodes, we've been just waiting on berry meals and take a look. We're at 33 now. We've got 10 bread meals. We don't have a lot of perpetual stew, but then we also saw the lobsters. Now, I don't know how often they eat these, but look at that 200 points per item. And they get four days of use. When they do it four days of 50 points each so that's pretty cool so yeah we'll leave it here and i will see you in the next episode